city. When people came up to the top of Motel Bon, the flat plaza that you see here didn't exist. It was a craggy, um, overgrown peak with forests and pine and oak and crevices. All at the top of this ceremonial center was leveled off by human labor, and the stone that they quarried in doing so was probably used to build many of the buildings here. But it was a Herculean task and um, it required a great amount of labor. It required directors, those following orders, people born into the category of haves, and those born as have-nots. No? So why is it that this formation took place? And, how, and let's contrast that with the first encounter. People came to the Valley of Oaxaca 10,000 years ago. They lived in very different circumstances. They lived a very what we call a hunting and gathering way of life. Does that, can people, can anybody describe to me what that way of life is like? Yeah, it's nomadic, first of all. It's nomadic, and they circulate around the landscape in very small groups, groups of families. Uh, and what they do is they exploit different resources as they come into season. It may be that during the fall, for example, acorns from the highlands come into, into um, maturity, and uh, and uh, that's where deer live as well. So they'll go up into the highlands in a small family group and exploit those resources. In the spring, on the other hand, the rivers will be uh, teeming with fish, and those are exploited. So people live in small groups, and they wander about, um, small family groups, exploiting their resources as they come into season. There's only so much wild food available here or elsewhere, and that more or less puts a cap on the, how large the population can be. As people in Oaxaca were hunters and collectors for seven, eight thousand years, probably the population of the valley never exceeded two or three hundred people. And archaeological sites from this period, for that reason, are very scarce. Amongst the many